Hey guys, Jim the Stargazer here, uh, heading out on the Sea Dew. Gonna go downtown uh, Tampa. Gonna go hit the River Walk. Just go take a look, take you guys with me. Go look around, give you some overview of the area. Go down to the channel, the channel, uh, the shipping channel down there. Do some high speed maneuvers and check out the, the downtown. So I uh, wanted to give you guys a uh, walkthrough of my uh, sea dew. So I've been making a couple videos, but uh, uh, I've been showing it on the water. But I went, went through the ski itself. You can see here. Uh, so yeah, I got a sea uh, dew GTX 2021 uh, limited uh, 300. Uh, it's got the limiter on it, uh, 70 miles an hour. Uh, I hit 71 here and there, but then the then the GPS limiter it kind of like catches it again and it slows it down, which is a bummer. I know there's some aftermarket uh, speed the limiter things out there, but it's not worth it for like four miles an hour. Spend a couple hundred bucks. Now if I were getting you know, 10, 15 miles an hour out of it, maybe spend a little bit of money, but I'm not gonna do that. So. Uh, yeah, I got this one. I got the speed tie as you can see here. I got a little damage on it uh, I had um, I was exploring uh, Over by Osmar, Florida uh, There's like old train train tracks across the bay over there and I wanted to go check it out So when I went in it was fine and then I didn't realize you know half an hour later low tide So when I was coming out I bottomed out on something under, underneath the train tracks and it slammed me into the it slammed me into the piling so that's what this damage is so yeah these are the speed ties uh which they work simply this is a lot it locks it and the tie actually comes out and it drawstring and it comes back out it's like five feet long so you can uh pull up to the dock and you can tie it off so well worth the money people people i see people hook up to like right here and I see them, they hook up with uh, some bungees and do you see the ski just moving everywhere, crashing into the, the dock, uh, you know? So yeah, that's not, that's not ideal. So I spent the money and I got the speed tie for it. We had them installed. Uh, even though with the damage, even with this damage right here, it's just a little outer, outer housing. They still work fine. And it locks in and they, they don't come out after that. And I'm back. All right, sorry guys, had a little interruption there. I had to stop recording. Yeah, so I was saying about the ties. I also got the, I also got the, uh, the bumpers for it. So I got them inside here. Uh, the bumpers it's from Sea Dew, getting a little dirty. But anyways, they um, they just slide in. Put them in here. Got a little, a little, the little hole. Put them in that locks from underneath and then there's two of them one goes there one goes here and then i got him i got it for the other side too so either side you can dock it just to protect it you know you get less road you know dock rash let's call it dock rash like a road rash on your ski so it's worth it to me i had them installed i got the i got them to help protect it i already got a bunch of damage on it from losing my grip on it at the dock i got a bunch of scratches i don't want to get any more basically it's a little little war wounds it's got like right here and right here this is basically i lost it one day in a really bad waves my from my hand and i couldn't catch it and it just flew right into the right into the dock over there benty davis but yeah so this one's got i got the bumper for it uh so i went and got uh, this one's got the link system built in so you can hook in so you can hook in the accessories so right now I just got a couple I got the I got the cooler so I got the cooler for it and I got the fuel tank the little fuel tank so I'll show you how it works it's pretty easy basically slides in right here the link just slides in on one side and then the other side drops in right here and then you latch and that's it it, it doesn't go anywhere i've done a lot of craziness with these with something on the back and it never nothing ever flies out so 
Yeah, and the little cooler is nice. They got a bigger cooler too, but I got the little cooler. But they got a, a cooler double the size of this. You can see here it holds quite a bit from yesterday when I was out. So that's what the link system's for. It's pretty nice. I like that. It was a feature. It, was a, it comes with it. The GTX Limited 300. It comes with it. Oh, uh, and here's the other speed tie in the back. So it hooks onto the back. Same thing. Uh, comes out. Uh, only thing is mine when I had it installed it looks like he didn't install it 100% right it doesn't retract all the way perfectly and sometimes it sticks out a little bit which is really annoying other times it'll go all the way back in so yeah and I think I'm back past the warranty date to take it back in they're gonna say well why didn't you bring it in right away so I'm SOL on that so uh, and then this one's got the, the braking system you guys know about that it's got the the, the ladder, I've used it twice. It's nice to have the ladder. You guys don't realize when you're tired on the water, how, oh my God, you guys don't know how much, how huh, that comes in handy when you're out on the water and uh, you fall off and you swim. Cause like when I did it, uh, the jet ski just kept going. I was probably doing about 40 and I went to do a, a quick turn and I hit a wave and, it, I, and I went off. Ski won't roll over. This key is really good and it won't roll over. You can stand on the one side of it and do whatever you want. It won't roll over. Um, I'm sure if you put two or three people on one side, it'll roll over. So, you know, in the comments, don't beat me up on that. But yeah, but uh, I, I got up to it. It took me about five minutes. It just kept going in the, in the swells. And uh, when I got, got up to it, if I didn't have the, this handle here, I wouldn't have been able to get back on. I would have been hanging on to it. Just like those guys in those videos you see over there in the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, what do you call those? The inlet in Miami. He's always showing the videos of guys losing it in the inlets. Ah, I forgot the name of it, but yeah, anyways. Um, so yeah, so uh, this one comes with it comes with the extinguisher already. It's already rusting out. I'm probably gonna replace this after a year. It's better to have a new one. Comes with this comes with this kit here. It's not really needed. Um, the storage accessories. This, this little storage organizer um i got this aftermarket one so this one has slot slots so you can you can put it in and then i have uh what i did is i put i put you can't see it but i put foam adhesive foam in, inside the the compartment on the plastic so that way uh it hit if something falls in there it doesn't it won't crack crack the housing uh so you've heard a lot about people with anchors and everything from jumping and everything the anchor cracks this housing so i got some it's like three quarter inch foam like that well <laughs> can't see that big and i and i they're adhesive and they and they went right up on there so that way uh when i'm jumping waves or whatever uh it won't break because i got i got two anchors in there i got a sand auger uh, a little bit of weight so but yeah so that's what this one comes with uh this one's got the this one's got the feature that nobody else has. Sea-Doo Sea is like Mercedes that always comes ahead with something first. It's got this IDF, this card right here. So you can see it. Uh, so the integrated debris, whatever, something. So basically what it is, is when you guys get, when we get something stuck inside of the intake, normally you have to jump out, you have to go underneath, try to fish it out by hand. This thing, you hit it you shut it off you turn it on it engages it engages uh i don't know what underneath probably a plate reverses the flow of water so instead of going back out the jet it comes back out the intake and it's pressurized so if it's uh you know uh grass or whatever you know whatever you get up in there it blows it out i got sand in there once uh it took two tries it got it out i got grass in there you know seagrass it blows it right out it's, it takes two tries though it doesn't work on the first try but yeah, so that's one of the main features of the 2021. I'm sure 22 has it too, is the IDF. Um, and then I got the BRP sounds. Uh, got two 6.5 inch speakers with the tweeter. So it's only two way, but yeah, they're really good. Uh, the, the bass is actually better than my Lincoln's 10 inch subwoofer. Uh, the two 6.5 inch has more bass than my Lincoln's subwoofer. So it's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, someone had asked me about my trailer I got a magic tilt 
trailer. You can see my setup. Uh, I had cables on it, but one of them broke. So I had them replace it with uh, metal chains. And what I do is I lock it up. I don't put a pin in there. I lock it. I've seen my, uh, on the videos of guys getting their, their trailer stolen uh, from uh, while they're on their ski in the water. So I got a, I got a pretty heavy duty lock. So they can't just cut it off. I mean, I'm sure they can figure out a way to get it, but then they're going through a lot of trouble for that. For a, you know, like a, almost a Grand Theft Auto type thing. Trailers aren't cheap. So uh, someone had asked me uh, about my bunk spacing. Uh, I don't have a measuring tape to show. You can see here, here's the bunk. So it looks like it's a good 12, 24, 36 inches at least. So yeah, it's about 36 inches. So someone had asked me about that. So there is an answer, I think it's about 36 inches. Um, yeah, and uh, I also got, also got the flush out. I got the quick connect. Uh, so you can just put it in. You don't have to screw it in. And then, uh, and then you can hook up your salt away. You can hook up your salt away. I got a kit for it. And then it just snaps in right from this, this end here. And it snaps in right here. So that way you don't have to, you know, put your hose on there and try to wiggle it on. So that's a feature, something I got, so. But yeah, I got the LED. I got the LED lights on the trailer. They're pretty bright underwater. It's pretty cool actually, cause they're really bright underwater. So, but yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little walk around, make a little video on the sea -Doo. Um, So I got, so I got my, uh, got my camera here. Now think about putting another one here. So one facing me, one facing forward and keep the third one in my hand, this one in my hand, so. I haven't decided what I want to do, but yeah. So I thought, thought I'd make a little, a little video just to show you guys my setup. So um, I'll probably make another video showing you the Lincoln. I'll walk around the Lincoln, show you what it's, what it is, and everything inside. It's pretty nice. So but yeah, this is Jim, the Stargazer. If you like my videos, drop me some comments. Tell me what you like to see. Tell me what I can do better. Uh, tell me what if anybody wants to go out. You know. I uh, like to get some more groups going, I like to build up a following, get some groups going out and everything. Um, so yeah, hit the subscribe button. Uh, so with the more, more likes you give and more subscribers that you get, the more uh, active the videos get. So the more following will be there and uh, we can get the group up and going. You know, I like to build up a group and get out there and guys, you know, have some fun. So it's pretty hot out here. As you can see, I'm pretty much done with this video. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.